Hi, plant people. This is David with Plants, Rants, and Revelations. And we're here today to show you how we start our little seedlings. Um, now, this is all items from the dollar store, so it's very affordable. And these are from, I think it was Dollar Tree Dollar Store. But, you know, they have these a lot of places. Actually, no, I think it was the 99 cent only store. But I'm sure these have you have these in your area in a very affordable price range. So, first off, we've got these connected rectangular peat pots. As you can see, they're all connected, and this is a material that your plants can grow through once they start to take off. So, we take these and we start to chop them up into little tiny individual peat pots. And then we've got this little starter kit. It's got this little tray to hold seedlings and a tray for the water. And then there's a cover to keep the humidity good. So we take the little rectangular peat pots, we chop them up, and we just drop them right into these holes. And I'll just show you how we cut those up. So very nice. So you just keep going until these are all filled. Chopping these up. And right now what we're doing is we are planting sugar snap peas, which are a really good grower for us. It's very productive. And just fill these up. Not very many of the sugar snap peas actually make it onto our table. We end up just eating them in the garden <laughs> as they as they mature. But they are very tasty and they're a very reliable crop for us. Alright. Chopping these up. And all of these components can be used separately. Um, but I find that this combination when you put them all together, which may in fact be the intended way to do it, uh, is a very effective way to get everything started. Uh, so these will be growing very shortly. Now once they have grown up to where they're about the height of this container, then I pop the top off and we get larger peat pots and fill them with earth and then pop these inside and let them grow for a little bit longer. Once they start to get a little bit larger, we take them and pop the whole thing, uh, small peat pot, large peat pot, and the plant itself into the garden, and it works really, really well. Well, I certainly hope that this has helped you, and if you are interested, we may have a follow-up video on this later. Thanks a lot.